Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to learn how to create a contact form pop-up. So, let's get started. This video is again devoted to the pop-up types. In this video, we will cover all the steps that are needed for creating a good contact form. So first of all, let's go to the pop-up box plugin and click on the add new button for creating our own contact form pop-up. Here we can see all the pop-up types included in the plugin. Uh, we will choose the contact form type. Now let's choose the appropriate template and start the process of creating the pop-up. On the general tab, do not forget to enable the pop-up. Uh, if not, the pop-up will not be displayed for your website visitors. Here you can write the pop-up title. Choose where you want the pop-up to be displayed. And now the most important part. Here is the user data. You can choose which information the website visit visitors must fill in. You can either enable it by clicking on it or make it required. But as you can see here, we have uh, various information form fields. Uh, you will be able to create your own. How? Very easy. Uh, for creating your own information field, uh, you will need to go to the custom field section and uh, click on the add new button. Now you are creating your own custom field. Write the name of the custom field. Here's the slug of the custom field, which is the unique identifier for the field. You can use it in the integrations uh, to show the user's answer for this field. Here you can choose uh, what kind of field uh, to add from the mentioned list. For example, it can be a text, uh, email, number, URL, etc. Uh, then here choose the attribute status. Uh, choose whether the attribute is active or not. Uh, also, if you choose the unpublish option, the attribute won't, won't be shown anywhere. Uh, so now we are moving back to the main pop-up. Uh, so, as you can see here, we can see that our custom field uh, already appears. Uh, we can enable it, make it required for our website visitors. So, they will 100% uh, fill that field. Uh, as we can see here, we can provide the admin email, that is, uh, we can provide the user's email addresses who will receive submitted data, uh, such as name, email, message, etc. Now, as all the main structure for the contact form is ready, we can choose the bottom text. Here we can write our desired text. Uh, then we can also write pop-up description. Uh, we can choose pop-up triggers, as you can see. Uh, we can choose on both, that is, the pop-up will be shown both on page load and on click. On load trigger, that means that the pop-up automatically will be displayed automatically uh, on the page load. And it, it, we can define the open delay. And to know how to do it, just watch our previous video. Uh, on click trigger displays the pop-up on our site when the user clicks on the targeted CSS element. Uh, we can define the CSS element in the CSS uh, selector option. Exit intent trigger means that the pop-up will be displayed when the uh, website visitor decided to leave the website. And here, finally, we can choose the pop-up position, that is, where we want our pop-up to be displayed in our website. So now let's move on to the other tabs and see what options are included there. Uh, in the settings tab, we can see that there are pop-up opening, pop-up closing sections, advanced settings where we can add pop-up name, pop-up category, etc. Uh, in the status tab, we can change the picture of the pop-up. Also, we can choose pop-up dimensions, content style, opening and closing effects, background style, style button style, etc. Uh, the limitation users tab uh, includes a lot of interesting options. For example, uh, you can choose to display the pop-up only the users who are already logged in. Just tick on the option and it will be enabled. Uh, another interesting point here to highlight is that while choosing the contact form pop-up type, uh, we'll be able to uh, use various integrations such as MailChimp, uh, Campaign Monitor, ActiveCampaign, GetResponse, etc.
that's all our pop-up is already created just click on save changes button and that's it just follow all the steps described in this video and create your own contact form be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel for not missing our upcoming videos so that's all for today see you soon Thank you.